All right, everyone. So this is just going to be an example video for number 18 because it is a little tricky and requires a lot of steps. So if you get confused on number eight, on number 18, you can come to this video and I'll walk you through this problem specifically. So for number 18, they're asking us which object is the most at. So remember the three objects we just went over are object A, B, and C. And we did find the density for them, right? So object A's density ended up being, where was it? Ended up being 489.20. Object B, object B's density ended up being 0 0.18 pounds per cubic inch. In object C, we had 2.7. Six, right? Okay. So we have these three densities. Problem is they're all in different units, right? We have kilograms per meter cubed, we have pounds per cubic inch, and we have grams per centimeter cubed. So now we got to think about which one, which unit do we want to switch them all to? So which one do we want to keep and which one do we want to switch them all to? So for convenience sake, I am going to keep it. So object C, I'm keeping. Sorry about that. Object C, 2.76 grams per centimeters cubed. This is the units we're going to work in. So we know this is object C's density. Now we have to figure out object A and object B's density within the units of grams per centimeters cubed. So let's do object A first. So for object A, remember, we did some work in centimeters, centimeters, cubic centimeters, and we also did some work in grams. Remember, we came up here and we I'd given you, this is the original, this is the original um, one without the numbers I added in, but I'd given you the mass and you just had to find all of them in grams, kilograms, milligrams, and then I had given you then we had the we had found the volume in centimeters. Remember before we had to convert to get this density in that. So our volume that we found before we converted it was volume was equal to five o two point two five centimeters cubed, and then the density for grams that we found was 245.7 grams. And remember, we're trying to find the, oh, this was the mass, I'm sorry, mass. And we're trying to find density. And remember, density is just mass over volume. So all we do is do 245.7 grams over the 502.25 cubed and we're going to get 0. Why does my 0. 0.489 grams per centimeters cubed. And now we have that in the same units as object C, right? Now these are comparable. All right. Now let's do object B so we can compare the last of them. Object B. So originally right now we have the current volume that we have is 0 0.18 pounds per cubic inch. Right? And the mass in grams, if you remember, as long as you have the red one, the one with the added numbers in, remember for object B, I gave you the mass in grams, right? And then you had to convert it to pounds. So let's use the mass in grams that I had originally given you. So the mass in grams that I had given you was 66.2 grams. Sweet. Now we just need to find, now we just need to figure out the volume 
in centimeters in centimeters cubed. So remember the volume for B was a little, the volume formula was a little bit different and it was pi times radius squared times the height, right? So let's do that, 3.14. Remember when I, once again, if I would scroll up to object B, when I gave you these numbers, I gave you the centimeter values. So you can convert the centimeter values to the values you need for the earlier questions. And now for number 18, I want you to use those centimeter values. So we get 0. 0.6 centimeters squared times 19.7 centimeters, right? And then our final answer, once you plug that into a calculator, is 22.27 centimeters cubed. Once again, now that we have the numbers we need, the centimeters cubed and the grams, we just do our density is mass over volume. And that's equal to 66.2 grams over 22.27 centimeters cubed. And that is going to be equal to 2.96 grams. So. If you have all these numbers now, we have them all in the same unit. So obviously it's not A, A is really not as dense. So, but B and C are comparable, but B is a little more dense. So object B is the most dense. And there you go. And that's how you do number 18. If I made any mistakes or you got different work, please reach out to me and we could work through it to make sure to see which one of us is missing a few things. But besides that, you guys are all good.